<laughs> Who's that? Oh no, I wasn't expecting anybody. Me neither. Go get it. John? Yeah. Chrissy? Yes. We've come to your home today to give you a lie detector test. What? It happens often. I thought we weren't doing lie detect. I thought we were just going to trust each other. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. One of you will be in the hot seat while the other asks questions, and then you'll switch. So who wants to get hooked up first? I will. Okay, perfect. Did you do Lisa Vanderpump's? I did not. <laughs> Okay, we'll start with some easy ones. Is your name Christine Diane Teigen? It's Teigen, but yes. Were you born in Utah? From what I've heard, yes. Okay. Are you a New York Times best-selling author? Yes. <laughs> Are you about to take a polygraph test? Yes. Okay, let's get started. You once told Vogue that three words to describe us as a couple are keeping it sexy. But that was two years ago. Would you still use those three words to describe us today? I would use those words to describe us this morning. Ooh, all right now. She is telling the truth. Yes. <laughs> all right now. I just got back from a four day trip. Okay, a lot of your fans would call you relatable. Would you agree with that? Yes. So it's relatable to be married to one of the world's most successful musicians? If that's your goal. <laughs> yes. A lot of Hollywood couples get together for publicity. Is our relationship just a really long, convoluted publicity stunt to get you more Twitter followers? I have more Twitter followers than you, so no. I actually have more than you. You have way more Instagram followers than me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Would you still love me if I couldn't sing? Yes. Would you still love me if I wasn't rich? Mm, yes. Oh, okay, good answer. What if I could only sing my vocal warm-ups? Ha, hey, ha, hey, I la. do not like those. Oh, you don't like those, okay. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're married, do you still find other men attractive? Yes. Okay, good answer. How about this one? <laughs> In his own way. I've told you this before. I think he's cute. What about this one? This one? No, they don't look like real firefighters. I want real fire oh, firemen. These are like Chippendales firefighters. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like. How about ones. this one? Yes. Oh, so cute. Yay! All right. Now, aside from being your husband, would you say I'm a good roommate? Um, what do you mean? Elaborate. You're kind of messy. Am I a good person to live with, to yes. cohabitate with? Yes. Um, is there something I do around the house that gets on your nerves? You're messy. Oh, okay. Um, you don't listen. Your ears are like always off. Um, but that's it, really. Okay, okay. Have you ever left the toothpaste Open. Every day. Every day. Because yeah. it needs to have a snap on top. Okay, correct. And until it has a snap on the top, or you get me one that has a snap on the top, I will continue to leave it open. Okay. And honestly, I'm leaving it open because you're going to use it next. Then you don't have to unscrew you're it. You're being considerate is what you're saying. Yes. Okay. You are very considerate then. Thank you. Okay. Do you listen to my music when I'm not around? Yes. Oh. What's your favorite musician, including me? Mm, Mariah Carey, Ariana oh. Grande, there's oh, so okay. many. I released a Christmas album, A Legendary Christmas, last year. Was my Christmas album... Do we just have to throw that in there or something? The deluxe edition will be available this year. Oh, wow. Can yes. I enjoy it while drinking LVE wine? Absolutely. Oh. Yes. That sounds great. Yes. So, is my <laughs> Christmas album better than this man's? Yes. All right, good answer. I had now. to think about who that was for a second. <laughs> Damn. Was that true? That's true. <laughs> it's a very good Christmas album. 
You said before that you do not like my song, Green Light. Mm -hmm. Is that my only song that you don't like? No. Okay. Have you ever considered that your public criticism might hurt my feelings? No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You, yeah. what? Uh, okay. You okay. know it's not that good of a song. You even said that I, it's kind of a little radio ish and yeah, not you. What? Yeah. What? So, what? You know. What? I love that song. It's amazing. Oh, Listen to it. I encourage the you. The worst is when it's just you doing it on the piano. Uh, oh, oh. I was like, can this get any worse? Now, and now, then, now. And then it could. Now. She just doesn't like the lyrics. She is telling the truth. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you think I have good taste? In what? Women. Yes. Do I have good taste in the interior design? of our home. Yes. Would you say that I've had equal input in the interior design of our home? More than equal. More than half? More than half. Okay. Um, do you ever think any of my awards make the house look tacky? No, mine do. <laughs> <laughs> mine are terrible. Uh, <laughs> you were a Revolve Woman of the Year, and I think that's very prestigious. And I won the mac and cheese off. Yes, she won the mac and cheese competition. Yeah. You once posted an Instagram story with an idea for making edible produce stickers. What mm -hmm. other great ideas do you have? You have them all in your ideas folder. That is correct. Are you easily embarrassed? For a little bit, but then I don't care. Have I ever embarrassed you? Yes. Okay. I mean, I don't, can't pinpoint exact. Probably when you talk in your radio voice. Oh, it embarrasses me. That's, you're just using this to criticize me. It, do you think it's us? <laughs> do you think you've ever embarrassed me? Yes. <laughs> was posting a picture of my butt on Instagram the most you embarrassing liked that. thing? I did not. You did. I was embarrassed. You were like, post it. My parents you were. Post it. My parents were very upset. Really? <laughs> you wanted me to post it. Oh my god. You did. That's questionable. Oh. <laughs> you wanted me thank to post you, it. Thank you. I definitely okay. got I definitely got approval. We'll oh say. my god. Maybe we, you didn't want it, but I think you we approved were both, it. We were both drunk. Yeah, it was anyway. that's the problem. It was that we were in Paris, but everyone else was just like going about their day here. Yes, it was late. So night it was like a random daytime but for them. Yes, it was it was odd timing for Americans. Yeah. Okay. Donald Trump blocked you on Twitter, is that correct? Yes. If he unblocked you, would you follow him? I would block him. Ah, I like it. That's all I'm waiting for. In okay. Life. I've been hacked on Twitter before. Do you know who hacked me? It was my favorite day. I do not. Was it you? No. You but, want, but respect to respect that to the respect to the hacker. Yeah. You had some good good tweets. I said I have a small <laughs> penis. I have a small penis. Was your bio? My bio. That was so cool. That was. Funny. I wish it was me. <laughs> You've been used as a meme a few times while attending award shows. Some of your faces have gone viral. Could you memeify this photo of me? <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's terrible. That's a terrible. Don't use that again. <laughs> I don't have put to this, do anything to put this. Put this photo away. This is. That's bad. I haven't ever seen this photo. Where did that come from? That was before Invisalign. Before? It was before a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It's bad. I've gotten a glow up since then. I do Vanity not, Fair, we got to get approval. I do on not these know this man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not. I'm sorry to I, this man. I, I am sorry to that man. <laughs> <laughs> what about this photo? Oh my gosh. Why are you Look guys the pulling jeans. up these old photos? This oh. is the worst. This is like, this is your life. You were still dating supermodels at this point. Yeah. Too, which is it was a different bonkers time. to me. It was a different time. It was a time where we just turned a blind eye, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Did you lie at any point in this interview and we didn't catch you? No. Okay. I believe you. Excellent job, Chrissy. Thank you. All right, you little bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I've always wanted to do that. Okay. Let's start simple. Have you cheated on me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Baseline. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't even want to know. I want to know. Okay. It's just some, a few baseline questions. Uh -huh. Have you cheated? <laughs> um, okay, no. Is your stage name John Legend? Yes. Are you the husband of famed model? 
Chrissy Teigen. Yes, I am. Are you the father to Luna and Miles? I hope so. Yes. Look at their faces. I know they're mine. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to get started? Yes, I am. OK, take a breath. You look a little nervous. I am a little nervous. OK. <laughs> you were prom king of your high school. So would you say you were pretty popular? I was pretty popular, yes. On a scale of 1 to 10, how popular were you? Well, probably like 8 or 9. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Uh, do you think we would have dated in high school? Um, I think probably not. Why? I was still pretty nerdy. I didn't get a lot of girls in high school. And I was two years younger than everybody in my class. This because I was braggy. so smart. This isn't a place for you to brag. It's a place for you to be honest. I wouldn't have been lucky enough to date you. Yes, yeah, so you're saying I wouldn't have dated you. Yeah, I, I would need to, you know, get to the where I was when I met you before you were in my league or before I was in your league. I've dated a lot worse. No, so I'm just okay. gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> so, a more. You wrote these, okay? <laughs> you went to U Penn. Uh, did I? <laughs> but. Is that the only thing you and Donald Trump have in common? We are both human beings. Mm. We're both males. Mm -hmm. We both lived in New York a significant amount of time. Mm -hmm. Would you ever bribe a university to ensure our children go to the best schools? Bribe? I would more legally do stuff like uh, donate. This is already true. Do you think you'd ever be asked to be the commencement speaker over me? Over you? I don't know if that's the way to put it, but I've been asked to do some commencement speeches, yes. And I have not. So. Oh, so. <laughs> so yes. As a couple, would you say we are goals? Yes. Um, your song, All of Me, mentions curves, edges, perfect imperfections. Mm -hmm. Now, that song is about me, correct? That is correct. What are my imperfections? Um, <laughs> what do you mean? We already discussed this. You don't put the toothpaste cap on and it incenses me. You can't use that. <laughs> what frustrates you about me? When you don't laugh at my jokes. Tell a joke. <laughs> Every once in a while. <laughs> Is it my feet? <laughs> I love Do your, you like my feet? I love your feet. That's questionable. Oh. <gasps> how do you like my, how can you possibly like my feet? Because they're beautiful. I really love them. I'll kiss them. I will rub them. I'll do more if you want. The f is more. Whatever you want. Okay. You tell me I what don't, is more. I don't want that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've said before that you got a little bit jealous of Ryan Gosling during the filming of La La Land mm -hmm. because he has no flaws. Is that correct? I did not say no flaws, but I said he learned to play the piano way better than I learned to play the guitar, and I found that very impressive. Do you think Ryan Gosling has flaws? And if so, what are they? I do not know if he has flaws, but he is... He's a pretty awesome human being, probably. Would you kiss him? Could. Would I kiss him? Probably not. It's not my thing. But he's very handsome. He is telling the truth. I would kiss him. You're not even hooked up to this. <laughs> I'm just joking. Does any part of you regret working on La La Land? No. But that sweater? <laughs> you mean the turtleneck? Turtleneck. Yeah, the turtleneck. I, I'm all for it. If you it. could do La La Land all over again, would you still choose that turtleneck? I'm, I'm completely fine with all the choices I made sartorially in that film. <sighs> so I have a cookbook out, too. Mm -hmm. True. Do you like my cooking? I love your cooking. Are there recipes in the book that you would rather not eat again? Not that I can think of, honestly. I love everything you make, truly. 
What do you think is the worst thing I've ever made? I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Honestly. My risotto was pretty bad. Too much saffron. Oh, you made a risotto that wasn't great. That was correct. Kanye's flan. I love that. Cheesecake. Are you waiting on me to lose this baby weight? No. You look perfect. He's telling the truth. Hey. Good job. Am I a better cook than this woman? Yes. I love her. <laughs> I love her too. And we cook from her book. She's a little healthier than my taste. She even looks healthy. She's very healthy. She's gorgeous. What? No. Ah, sorry. We didn't ask that. She's damn near perfect. Jesus. She's got the perfection of a Ryan Gosling. Yes. <laughs> I'd kiss Gwyneth too. <laughs> Is there a dish I make that you're too afraid to tell me you don't like? No. Would you say marriage requires sacrifice? Yeah. What have you sacrificed for me? Um, I mean, none of it's like a bad sacrifice. Like I work less than I would if I were single. I have sex with other women less than I would if I were single. <laughs> less. But it's all fine. <laughs> It's a big sacrifice. It's, it's worth just it. To stop. F <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. It's worth it. Do you actually enjoy watching Bravo shows with me, or are you just being a good husband? I enjoy most of them. I agree. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. You do enjoy it. I enjoy most of them. Some of them I just put up with. Others I actually enjoy. Okay. Do you think I should be a Real Housewife? No. I think you don't need it, and uh, I actually don't think you would be dramatic enough for them. Um, they like messier people. You're not very messy with your friends. Do you think, oh, this is tough, because, okay. Do you think I have good style? You have amazing style. Do you get mad I wear robes so often? I love you in robes. I think they're very beautiful and feminine and luxurious. Are there some days you wish I dressed up a little bit more? No. We dress up plenty. Do you sometimes think in your mind, wow, she's such a slob kebab? No, I do not. Absolutely do not. Oh, I think all these things about me. <laughs> all right, getting to the tough questions. All right now. No, I haven't looked yet. <laughs> um, <clears throat> is it true that we didn't hook up after you reached EGOT status at the 2018 Emmys? I don't recall if we hooked up that night. No, a lot happened that day. Oh, we went over to Lip Sync Lip Battle. Lip Sync right Battle, yes. yes. Did you want to have sex on our wedding night? Absolutely. How about I'm sorry? <laughs> We eventually had it. <laughs> no one has sex on their wedding night, is what I tell myself. Uh, yeah. We had it before our wedding night as well. At this moment, right now though, mm -hmm. are you concerned that we don't have enough sex? No. Especially after last night. <laughs> wow. TMI, everybody. I'm sorry. Let's switch topics. Oh, okay. You first met Kanye West in 2001, right? Uh, that is correct. Do you miss the old Kanye? <laughs> oh, sometimes, yes. But people, you know, they grow, they change, and, you know, artists are, are who they are. Did he ask you permission before he posted screenshots of your texts on Twitter? He did not. Do you think Kim wears the pants in that relationship? No, they seem like they have a kind of equal relationship from what I've seen. Do I wear the pants in our relationship? In a lot of aspects, you do, yeah. I, I feel like we both have things we care about and want to take charge of more, and we do those things. I like not having pants on, though. Yeah, you like wearing robes. I do. Mm -hmm. I you wear the robes in our relationship. 
See, she never laughs at my jokes. So, mom lives with us. Uh huh. Are you okay with this? Absolutely. He is telling the truth. I like it too. <laughs> is it because we have such a big house? I mean, if we had a two bedroom, I would not be okay with her living with us. So if we lived in a smaller house, would you still be okay with my mom living with us? No. Not if, no, there needs to be enough room for all the people. Okay. Now my mom spends a lot of time with Luna and Miles. And I often wonder this, do you think that they like her more than me? I think kids always have a special fondness for their grandparents because the grandparents just get the love on them and don't have to be strict or anything. So they all, I, I was like that with my grandparents too. I just, they're fun. Grandparents are fun. Yes or no, do they love her more than me? No, they don't. It's a different relationship. But it's all fun. Do you think we are cool parents? I think we are, but I think our kids will not think we're cool in about 10 years. I think they don't think we're cool now. Oh. <laughs> Are you worried that when they're older, the kids at school might call me a MILF? Oh, I hope they do. Ooh. Well, I won't be, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> Would you call yourself at this moment in time a DILF? I have been featured on the DILFs of Disneyland Instagram page. So I, I will say, I'm not going to say I'm a DILF, but some have said. People are saying. Yeah, the people are talking. <laughs> the random accounts on Instagram, they are a talking. People are saying that I am the most dilfiest dilf of all time. You have a beautiful voice, would you agree? Absolutely. Wow. Ooh. Some confidence. <laughs> do you like it when I sing? I do, actually. Do you think I have a good voice? I think you have a good voice, yes. Why did you emphasize good there? I didn't say great. I said good. Do you think I have what it takes to make it in the music industry? Well, that's not a high bar these days. We have a lot of technology and things to make people sound like, you know, amazing. Okay. So we could we could do it with you if you were in, if you were up for it. But I can't dance or do anything. There are examples of people. Who you don't can, want to say it. Who, who, can, who, can neither, who can neither dance nor sing, but have made careers of it. Do you think I could ever win a Grammy? Unlikely. Oh, no, you could do it as a, for a best spoken word album. Do you think I could win an Emmy? Absolutely. No question. Okay. That was just personal. I question. think you will win an Emmy. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I am pretty vocal on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Does that ever bother you? No. Have I ever posted something that you knew would be a bad idea? Not in a long time. I think you know, you know how people are gonna react to things very well. So you post things that you wanna post and that you're willing to take the heat for. Have you ever felt bad for me on Twitter? Yes. Have you ever considered muting me? Never. Are you sure? I have never considered muting you. Oh, well, sometimes you said, sometimes I go to your page and get excited. It says, you follow me, then I remember you married me. <laughs> I'm drunk. And that was then my I, version of a compliment. That was, that was sweet. And then I jokingly said, unfollowing. And then you said racist, and that was. <laughs> I think that was an example of us having witty, oh, funny so repartee funny. on Twitter. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> One more reason why we're All right. relationship goals. Was it because of this tweet? I like to send John nudes and say sorry, wrong person. <laughs> that was a joke too. I thought that was funny too. Do you find any of my friends attractive? I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure. You have attractive friends. The baby name that I wanted to name Luna. Yes. You really didn't like it that much? I didn't love it. It was fine. I would have been okay with it, but I love Luna more. <laughs> would you ever have married me without a prenup? 
Um, I think prenups are a good thing to do. I actually wish I knew you were going to be so successful. I would have rewritten the prenup a little bit. You're a lot richer than I thought you'd be. If you take one of my monies. <laughs> one of my monies. I will take <laughs> At any point during this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? I did not. That's true. Is that like a legal thing, you guys? I told the truth. I told the truth. 